What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Highway Spec. Today we're going to spec out something a little bit differently. We are going to do my spec, but we're going to do it on a new-ish car brand. Uh, so that is Genesis. So Genesis is an offshoot from Hyundai. Uh, they are kind of like the Lexus-Toyota relationship, the Honda Acura, Nissan Infiniti. Uh, Genesis is the luxury brand of Hyundai. Even though Hyundais have become more luxurious, they still want their own luxury brand. And so that's what they did. Uh, <clears throat> they created Genesis originally as its own model. They had the, Gen the Hyundai Genesis Nan, then the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. Now that turned into the Genesis G80, and they had the Hyundai Equus, which turned into the G90. Well, they've got a new vehicle out, a uh, competitor to like a BMW 3 Series, you know, a smaller sports sedan, and that is the Genesis G70. Uh, when it came out, uh, it was available with a rear-wheel drive manual transmission, uh, but then also it has a, with a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, and then they have a uh, turbocharged V6 that was an option as well. So... We're going to actually spec out a G70 today, how I would spec it. I'm super excited to do this. I haven't done this at all with the Genesis vehicle. Um, I'm ex really excited to see their new G80, their new GV80, which is their SUV that is coming out. But right now we're going to start with the G70. All right, so base model, 252 horsepower, 35,450 is what it starts at. <clears throat> Let's see what we come up with. And I've heard their their uh, design suite to spec vehicles is pretty unique, and so far it's looking that way. It's a pretty cool 3D model. All right, so we've got white, Himalayan gray, thick black, Adriatic blue, Mallorca blue, black forest green, Siberian ice. I actually like this color wheel. It's kind of kind of fun way to spec out a car. <clears throat> uh, I think I like that Adriatic blue. Okay, so like I said, you can get the six-speed manual in the rear-wheel drive, which is pretty cool. At the same time, though, you get 365 horsepower, 376 pound-feet of torque from the 3.3T. And it is more of a luxury car, so uh, it's hard to say what I would personally go with. I'm intrigued by the manual. I, you know, I want to support manual transmissions. I think we'll go with it. I think we'll, we'll stick with the rear-wheel drive all, and the manual, even though... I live in Utah, and it is, uh, you know, something that I, I, we do get snow. Let's sit in the driver's seat here. <coughs> this is pretty cool. I like it even shit represents the manual transmission there. All right, so what packages does that give us with just the manual? Okay. Get the 19 inch wheels, LED headlights, limited slip differential, Brembo brakes, sport exhaust system, heated and ventilated seats, memory system, power tilt and telescope, driver's seat cushion extension, which is great for thigh support, 15 speaker system. What am I giving up? <laughs> uh, I'll get the gray leatherette. Wow. Okay, I'm sure I'm missing out on a bigger infotainment screen and some other luxury features here, but... Rear bumper applique, just for the fact that it, uh, you don't drop cargo on the back, back bumper there. It's a pretty good looking vehicle, honestly. I can figure out how to close that door again. Oh well. 
<clears throat> so that's not bad. 39,605 for six speed manual Genesis 2.0 T. I mean, it, it has a fair amount of, uh, fair amount of features to it. Hmm. All right. Well, that's that's my spec on the Genesis G70. I'm actually going to um, I, I don't know. I'm really surprised by that. What do you think? How would you spec it? What would you do differently? Do you like my spec? Let me know in the comments below. I'm I really like the idea of this Genesis now. I might have to go look at one. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um I'll catch you on the next one. Hey everybody, first and foremost, thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I love doing these videos. They're so much fun for me. And with that in mind, I'm going to do more of them. So now you will get a highway spec video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Mondays will be max spec. Wednesdays will be a regular spec video and Fridays they'll be changing out with different spec ideas. I think you'll really enjoy it. And because I love doing this so much, I've also launched the Highway Spec Hot Takes podcast where we talk about the latest and greatest car news on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So now you've got five days of Highway Spec coverage. Coverage, sure, we'll go with that. Anyway, appreciate it. Links in the description below. Thank you again.